We did. Not yeah, we, today. <laughs> those summer storms that popped yeah. up basically out of nowhere because that's how the summer storms go. You know, they just blossom, and that's what the that's more about what we're expecting later today uh, for sure with the heat and the humidity. Right now in Tuscaloosa, things are all quiet. There's Brian Denny Stadium off in the distance. Temperatures now sitting in the low 70s, and the dew points in the low 70s as well. So the very the uh, humidity has definitely gone up as well across the area. Temperatures now sitting in the 60s and the 70s, 70 in ja uh, Jasper, Fayette, Hamilton, Coleman, all at the 70 degree mark. We're going to warm up pretty quickly as the sun comes up and we've got another day with the heat advisory in effect. It's not necessarily the temperatures that are the big factor. It's the humidity and that will lead to a heat index of around 104 to 107 in all the areas that are affected by the heat advisory during the hottest part of the day. It'll be really hot today, so stay cool and stay hydrated. Rain free across central Alabama this morning. A little bit more activity happening to the southeast. Got a couple storms that are firing down in southern Georgia and parts of the Carolinas. We will not have to worry about storms for the first half of the day. Through around lunchtime, we should be okay and stay pretty dry, but we'll be up to the 90 degree mark by lunchtime and by 1 p.m. That's when those storms should be Began popping up just as they did at the same time yesterday. And by around 5 p.m., there may be a little bit of a lull in the action thanks to the rain cooled air kind of stabilizing the atmosphere somewhat. Then closer to sunset, there may be a few more showers and storms that begin to pop up to the northwest. Those will be kind of hanging around, but then after sunset, the rain coverage will continue to diminish as the night goes on. And we can certainly use the rain, especially in southern Jefferson County and most of Shelby County, currently in a severe drought. You know, we have these pop up storms that develop, but it's either who gets all the rain or who gets none of the rain? That's usually how it goes this time of year. It's not necessarily everybody who sees rain, but there's a decent chance of it happening today. Can't say exactly where they'll pop up because it's summer storms, but that rain chance at around 40% today, high temperature around 93, and then maybe a couple of lingering showers early in the evening for the first few hours after sunset and then after midnight we'll stay just partly cloudy for the rest of the night. So more afternoon storms continue for the next three days and then we'll turn we'll turn a little bit more widespread with the covers towards the end of the week. Friday and Saturday do look very wet. Those rain chances are around 70 percent highs dropping down to the upper 80s.